Welcome back to another video of Activerse Universe today. It's a new day. Hey, and we got a what? Yes, sir. You better say it. You better say it. Yup. That cabinet is open. I said it. Yup. Banger. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Today, I'll be letting y'all know the update for my dreadlocks of 27 months. Oh, let me count this real quick. I started December 29. Okay, 27 months update. Dang it. <laughs> my dreadlock, you guys know what it is. It's the most banker dreadlock you guys ever seen in your life. And I'm not bragging on myself. I'm kind of am bragging on myself, Diddy. Diddy, you bragging on yourself right now. Or Activerse or whatever you call yourself. A lot of people think my name is Activerse, but I don't know if I can go by that. I think that's a brand. Activerse a brand. Ah, whatever. So 27 months update, man. You guys been seeing my dreadlock and what journey I've been through. I went from just starting off doing regular hair, two strand twists, corn rolls, braids, twist outs or twists, single braids, double braids, is there a thing called double braid? Oh, double braid. Oh yeah, did I do double braid? No, I think tri I did triple braid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But guys, like literally, I started that way, then I went to getting dreadlocks. My hair was pretty long when I got my dreadlocks. And after I got my dreadlocks, it's crazy. After I got my dreadlocks, I dyed it the same day. I had even like the tips, just the tips. I didn't get to enjoy the dark dreads. And that's why you guys see me with a lot of like dark dreads now. Even though it's kind of fading out, which I will get to in a minute. And then I went from there to dyeing my hair half and half. And that was, I think, that was so dope. I did it myself too. Actually, I did it myself on the first bleach, but I had to do a second set of bleach because the blackness of my hair wasn't really stripping off. So I did a second set of dye. And my wife actually helped me out with that, which I didn't include that in the beginning because it didn't correlate with the ASMR type of theme that I was going for. Gucci dreads? That's All the Gucci the color. color. I'm not even gonna pull this phone over here. Why is your hand that color? Because I touched you. <laughs> You're not funny. <laughs> Let's go. Alright guys, seven minutes left. I think we gonna make it. You know those um those dogs with the long ears? And then after that I had to go back to blacks again for my wedding for or for our wedding. Which our wedding video, by the way, is out, guys. The Vows video, which is a banger. I just released it like two weeks ago. Check that out. And then after that, I went to blue because you guys requested it. I kept on saying, I want to get platinum. I want to get silver. You guys were like, no, get blue, get blue. And I'm thinking it's because y'all yeah, really liked XXX and Tacion's hair, which is iconic. Even though I think my dreads are better. Are oh, they gonna come for me in the comments? Alright, let's see if I can handle that. And then from the blue, I went back to black. Yeah, disappointing, right? Uh, a lot of you guys were expecting silver. Sorry, guys, to disappoint on that, man. I should have came through. I knew. I know you guys got me to 20k and everything. But next video, I'll be talking about why I don't dye my dreadlocks anymore, or why I haven't dyed my dreadlocks for a while. But guys, yeah. So this is 27 months dread journey of within two years. We went through so many trials and tribulations you know things that came against my hair dandruffs we beat that kind of roughness of dreadlocks meaning that not getting a retwist for a while actually gun that a great saving my life we beat that come on now you know retwisting my own hair learning to do that you have to do so many things man in two years and hopefully you guys are on a journey with me and i see your comments guys you know let me know this this that in the comments so thank you guys so much for that last video i think it was two videos ago i promised that i'm gonna be announcing a winner of activers dreadlock jewelry that i'm gonna be giving away and so from the comments i'm picking out one person to win this dreadlock jewelry and that person is right there you on DM me on Instagram, send me your, your address so that I can ship out the Activerse locks for you. Pick, we can pick whatever you want. Um, I can, I can do either three of each, one or one of one of six of whatever kind that you want. We have the silver piece. Just go visit our website. But before we get into the video, guys, we got a sponsor, and you know it's Activerse.com because I, I know you guys notice that I don't bring brands out here just to bring brands out here. I really don't do collabs with other brands and stuff like that, even though they wanna pay me. I usually done like things like, okay, you can advertise mine on your 
account or in your channel or in your Instagram and I will do yours. Unless it's a friend or anything like that, I have not done any of that. So support me guys because I'm not pushing any any anything on you guys because I've been offered hundreds of dollars. We get into a thousand soon of people offering me, which I may start accepting it if I like I told y'all last video that I want to start taking this as a business. So if you guys really not messing with the activist locks, then I'm gonna end up, you know, starting to push other people brand on you guys and you know kind of convincing you guys to purchase things so guys please purchase activers.com go to my website it's only like four bucks to get like one six set of jewelry so go support me but this is the sponsor of the video activers.com let's get into it Alright guys, today I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly what my hairline, my hairline, I guess, yeah, my hairline look like, I guess you guys can check out my hairline. As you guys know, one of our journeys in the dreadlocks, we did something that I don't think anybody really accomplished, which was to free the hairline up, man. Uh, what I noticed is with a lot of people that have dreads, they keep combing their hair down and lining it up to get a crispy lineup, making your dreadlock really go back and back and back more. You see the thinness of it on the side because I'm using my baby hairline to line up my hair. The rest of it has went back to the dreadlocks that it should be going to so it don't get cut up and cut off, you know? You don't wanna keep pushing your lineup because these baby lines or baby hairs only need few lineup or razors to for them to be gone forever like literally you can try to line it up and then never grow a baby hair again a baby hair is a very very sensitive hair uh, and it's a very crucial part of your hair so please be careful guys as you line up that's why I recommend you to cut your own hair I taught you guys how to cut your own hair so if you have not dedicated and spend the time to do that it's like what are you waiting on use and learn that skill at least to line up yourself not even cut your hair just line up yourself at least because it's necessary I don't know if you guys seen a lot of dreadhead people but you guys will see a lot of thinness and a lot of things like that going on with the hair because of the fact that they keep trying to you know get that crispy line up so they keep bringing it down and lining it up and I'm also skeptical about the sprays that people use to line up yourself like that chemical and stuff like that I don't know if, 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 if it is good for your hairline I know it stands out your hairline and makes it look crispy but I'm very skeptical about chemicals to use on your forehead especially that every barber now is using it and I barely see a lot of people with crispy line up like I used to and I don't know what happened to that so I recommend you guys to go with natural as possible I even wash my face with water if you guys been asking like how do you keep your face this I just, I just use water. I avoid chemical. I, I recently started using a little bit up for my beard to wash it with shampoo and like conditioner so that I can smell good. It can have that, uh, you know, when my wife hugs me, she, she, I think something's stuck in my nose. Like she can get the smell like a really, you know, good scent. Her husband got to smell good, man. You feel me? But guys, yeah, uh, let me show you guys exactly what my hair is looking like right now. Like I show you, I told you guys, uh, it's fading out a little bit of my dreadlocks uh, based on basically the colors that I've had before. I bleached it completely, completely, completely pl platinum blonde before, and I applied a uh, blue color. Then I have applied another bleach or a color removal. Then applied another black color on it. So it end up looking like this. It looks so fuzzy looks it doesn't look like it's holding itself together like it looks weird sometimes it looks cool in pictures because it comes out like a fading greenish bluish black so for some pictures actually it did come out does come out good but my dreadlock is pretty long i don't want to take it out of my ponytail but i have to man this is like it took me a while to get this hairstyle like that i like going on but i'm gonna take it off because i think i remember it this is it man like it's crazy how far we came and how much rastafari 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 that we look like it's crazy how long my hair is I look like a lion right now look how long my dread is guys this is how long it is right now Whoop. I need a dang retwist. Still deal with a little bit of dandruff, but not like I used to. I guess you see a lot of it when I open it up. I usually go farm roll it or something. What is dryness of hair? See, it's like, as you guys see, my hair is very, like, it looks healthy, right? It doesn't look bad at all. And it's, it is because of, you know, the less amount of stuff that I use. I think it does help it out. I don't use too much oil. I don't use too much of any products. I just keep it natural as possible. And I feel like that's why my hair is 
doing as good as it is right now versus if I was retwisting it every single month or every single week or something like that I think my dreadlock would have skinnied out really badly as you guys already see like my dreadlock has lost its integrity and it's the thickness of it and uh, not as much as I expected to but actually it's doing pretty good not too bad I recommend you guys not to bleach your hair I would say because it skinnies out and it strips the blackness of your hair they're really like the important part of your hair I guess because once it's bleached it's, it's bleached like it's gone that's that is stripped away that uh, thickness of it that, that part of the hair that's outer part of the hair is bleached and so that's what bleach does so be careful with what you guys use in your hair I will say those are the products that I only use besides those I don't use any chemicals on my hair actually so you can say my hair is good for what it went through you know what I'm saying cuz my dreadlock should be falling off right now come on now, I've had five four bleaches in my dreads I'm contemplating the bleach my hair next but I've got this product right here guys I'm gonna show you guys what I'm bleaching my hair next I don't know why I got the product but I have it with me in the next video I'm gonna tell you guys why I don't want to bleach my hair and then go ahead and bleach my hair it sounds so hypocritical so I'm gonna go grab the stuff that I have because that's part of my next journey the subscribe button man you guys know this right what it does if not I guess you guys have to wait to see what that does I'm not going to be doing that much talking with these things that I have. I don't know why they, what the heck, why do I have a mask? Why the heck do I have a mask in this bag? I'm going to just show y'all what it, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I don't know. I, I, I really don't know. I don't know, man. I really don't, I don't know, man. This looks cool. Wow. Look at the color. I don't know, man. What is this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I really don't know. What, what is that? I don't know. I don't know why why you asking. What is, what is that? I don't know. Oh man, tell us what it is, man. I don't really don't know, guys. And if you don't tell us, we going to unsubscribe. Man, told you you'll know in the next video, man. I don't know why you being so impatient, man. Just tell us what it is, man. We're not going to snitch on you. I don't I really don't know. I what is? I don't know, man. I really don't know, man. I really don't know. Are you done yet? I don't know if I'm done yet. They all look pretty. They all look pretty nice. What is that? Did he tell us? I don't know, man. I saw this one thing on TikTok of a girl that can do, that can speak with her mouth and then her voice comes later on, almost like a, de a delay. So I try to practice this, see if I can do it too. See if, he got, if I can get it right. So let me know if I, in the comments if I do good, okay? So this is what I'm trying to accomplish. I don't know if you guys get it yet. So right now, I'll start it. Re ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Did he go ahead? Hi. Hi. How are you? Whoa, how did you do that? I promise you guys, it's not like in a delay or anything like that. I just do it like, just, I just do it. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh, that one was, that was a mess up. <laughs> But thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys learned something. I don't know. Got updated with some. I don't even know what I talked about today, man. I just did it for fun, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That I can say. But till next time, keep acting the verse and creating your universe. This is Actors, and I'm out. This is for y'all that stay all the way to the end of the video. If you want to shop at Actors.com, go use the code 20BANGER for 20% off. I love y'all.